All right, hi everyone. Um, we're gonna do something a little different today because um, I'm out of patterns for last month and I don't wanna start patterns yet for this month because the month starts at the end of the week. So I'm gonna go to, there's a new pattern that I saw recently through our Facebook group. So I'm at, I'm on Facebook. I'm at the Pattern Dash Collections uh, Facebook group if you haven't joined yet. This is where uh, all the action happens with all the uh, new patterns and interactions and showing off our artwork. Um, and I'm going to do a search. I'm going to use the little search thing and I'm going to search in here for Henny Brower. H-E-N-N-I-E Brower Brewer. And here's the pattern. That's the easiest way for me to find the pattern that I want to do. And so here's the pattern that she did. She did an artwork recently that was this one. Um, really cool. And so she uh, gave us a step out. So it's not on the regular uh, Pattern Dash Collections website. And, you know, I can actually go back and I can find the original artwork that she did this one. So we can look at it up close and personal. Look at that. And she did it all with a ballpoint pen. She didn't use a fine liner at all. She just used a regular old blue ballpoint pen. But she did it in a mandala-like. I'm not going to do that. I just want to practice with the pattern itself. So what I did was I took that um, picture from the Facebook group and I printed it. Let me zoom out. So I, I took a screenshot of it and I printed it. So let me turn on the light so we can all see it better without all the shadows. And so she's, they've called it mirrored arrow. And it starts on a, on a dot grid. And then on the first row of dots on the bottom of the dot we're going to do a line connecting two dots and then skip one and connect two dots and skip one and then on the next row we're going to do it the other way we're going to go on the top of the dots and we're going to do them here so they look like they're they're matching right and then we're going to skip a whole row of dots and then we're going to do that same pattern but in the opposite section so we're going to we're going to scooch over one. So it's going to be like tiled. Does that make sense? Here. And then we are going to draw this V shape here and here and here with a little V. I can't zoom in, so I'll have to just scooch you cl closer. There's a little tiny V right there. I don't know if you can see it, but she's done a little tiny V right there. And then the next thing we're going to do is on the underside of these dots, we're going to do it another line and then we're going to do a, a um, line from here to here and then over to this little V. And then we're going to do it the other direction as well. So on one side it goes this way, on the other side it goes that way. And then, this is a very complicated one, it would be a, an advanced pattern. Um, yeah, we're, we're just going to play and see if we can do it. Well, I'm going to play and see if I can do it. You guys do what you want. But then the next thing is to go downward. So you're making like a ribbon going downward and under this part and then down and under this part. So they're like connected. And then the other one is going the other direction. When you're all finished, they look like there's a ribbon and then a ribbon that comes down here and goes that way, a ribbon that comes down here and goes that way. And then there's this ribbon it's really interesting, very, very interesting, but very complex. And so, but I just wanted to try it. 
we, you know, we've done some really simple patterns lately and I just wanted to give it a go. So what I did is I went on a, on a website that did dot grids. Um, I don't remember the name of it. It was, I just searched for dot grids PDF and there was a website that I could change the color of my dots. I could change the distance apart of my dots. This one was, um, I believe half inch. Me measure yeah these dots are half inch apart and I made them made the dot at first I made the dot their default which was this which I could almost not see and I was guaranteed you guys couldn't see it so I made the dot bigger that way I don't have to draw a dot grid you absolutely 100% could draw a dot grid but I just wasn't in the mood to do that I want to just play with the pattern I don't want to deal with having to draw the dot grid because so we're gonna start and I'm gonna follow along here um, I don't even think I'm gonna use a P and pen or any of my regular pens. Am I going to just use a ballpoint pen? I don't have a ballpoint pen out here. Yes, I do. I'm going to just use a regular old ballpoint pen. Just a plain old pen and see what happens. So the first step then is to do this. So that ribbon looks like it's every other one. So that's where I'm going to start. I am going to go I'm going to leave my paper this way so you guys can see it. And I'm not going to do this whole dang thing. I'm going to start kind of in the middle here and just try it about there. Um, let's start about here. So I'm going to go here and here. Right? I'm already not straight. Here and here, here and here, here and here. Let me go one more. Here and here. Is that far enough to get the pattern, get the idea of the pattern? Let's go one more. Why not? Okay. And then the next thing we do is we skip this whole row of dots. And on this row of dots, we don't match it exactly the same. We scooch over one. So then it's here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here. And do we go inside there? can't tell okay let's just leave it at that and then on the next row I would assume we do the same thing that's this row that row skip a row that row what would you do there I would assume that the next one would be you skip this row again and then you follow this one again so let's skip this row and then here we're going to do it here so i want to make it bigger than the sample pattern so i get a really good feel of how to do this pattern like that Okay, I'm going to do one more row. So I'm going to make it match this one. So I'm going to skip this row and make this match this one. Like that. Okay, good. Good start. Next step is 
that one. You know, it's almost easier for me to look it up on back on the Facebook page. Can I go back one? Because I can zoom in better on my phone. Okay. Okay. So then I want to. Do a V starting here, and going from here, here to here to there, and then this one gets a little V like that. And then it starts here. So it's the back end, this end, you know, this pen is kind of sticky. I'm not too sure why the barrel of this pen is kind of sticky, but it is. It kind of feels weird in my hand. Okay, so then we go from here and back to this one. And then a V there. And then from here back to that one. And a little V there. And here back to that one. A little V there, and then here, and back to that one. A little V there, and here, and back to that one. Okay? So far, so good. Now, on the next row, we go the other direction. So, on this row, So that one comes here. So on this row, it goes the other way. It goes here to there and back to that one. Okay. There to there and a little V. There to there and a little V. There to there. A little V there to there, a little V there to there, and a little V. And there will be a little V here, right? Yes, be a little V there on that side. Okay, so then. This row has to match this row. So we're going to go here to there, a little v, there to there, and a little v, Like so. Okay, so this side does it have a little V? I don't know. Okay. So far, so good. Are we? Are, are you following along? I don't know how well I'm doing, but we'll see. Then the next thing we do is. Here, we do a line there. I needed my dots to be bigger. Right? And then I go here and up. Here and up. Here and up, there and up, there and up. And I'm going to do that here too. So it's going to go there and there and there, there, there. Let's go there and up, there and up, 
there and up, there and up, there and up. Okay, and then this one goes the other direction. Let me look at it so I'm looking at it properly. So it goes here. Like that. And then it's going to go here and up. And up. There and up. There and up, there and up, like that, right? I think so. Okay, now the downward ones. Now we go Down there, under there, come out there, under there, this has to go here. Okay, so that goes under there, and then where does it go? Okay, that's the confusing bit, trying to figure out this. So it goes under there, goes down here, and then under that spot, and then there, and then under that spot, and then it kind of just goes that way. From there, under, there, and then it goes that way. So then this row is the same as this row. Let me, let me indicate the colors of my rows. This row is the same as this row, right? And then this row is the same as this row. Just so I can get wrap my head around spacing and stuff. So then this one will match this one. So it'll go here and then under there and then here. Okay, so then this one goes there, and then here, and then it goes like that. So then it goes there, and there, and like that. So, okay, I think that's right. Let's try again. Here and there and here and there. Here and there. Here and there. Here and there, here and there, here and there, here and there, okay? Then we do that over here. Here and there, here and there, here and there. Here and there, here and 
there and here and there here and there here and there okay now what now we go the other way we come up from here Okay, now I'm confused. I knew I would be. This is this is a really this is this is a super advanced pattern. Super advanced. Okay, let me start from this edge cuz this edge looks like one that I might be able to figure out. Maybe. I'm going to color because I'm having troubles seeing. Um, see how I made an orange for this first, oops, for this first row and for this second row here. And I made blue for the, this one and this one where they match. I'm going to do that on here because there's this and then there's this there's this i'm gonna do this so that i can keep track of what is going on and when i get to this one see that only has two it has the the, the orange row and the blue row orange row blue row when we get here it shows orange row Blue row. Okay, it only shows orange row, blue row. Orange row, blue row. Orange row, blue row. Orange row, blue row. So, I feel lost. I feel lost. Okay, let's 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 pretend that these two rows don't exist. Right? Let's put a, put a piece of paper over them so I'm not looking at them so it's exactly the same as the step out. So the same as the step out is this V and then this V going this way. Okay, so it's right there. That's because I put more than the step out because I wanted it to be bigger, but then it confused me too much. Okay, so now I've done this going down. So now I need to go upward. So this one goes There's another like this. There makes like a Y. So it makes like a Y. It goes in like that and down. And then this one comes like out and down. Okay, so this one is like this and down and like that, like this and down and like that. 
like this and down and like that. Like that and down and like that. Okay. Right? Then under here, this one goes straight to there. Ooh, I'm hungry. And then this one on this row. So that's coming under here. No, that's this row. That's blue. At the blue row. So this one comes down and it's going to go around. So there needs to be a line here. Trying to figure out which one of these lines, it's this one. So there's that triangle. I need to have a line goes down like that. So from that triangle, I need a line that comes down like that. Down like that. And then this one goes here. Correct. And then I need this V. like that. Okay. Right. I think that is correct. I think. I don't really know. But I think that's right. So that's going to go. Now I need to match this. So that's going to go like that. And it goes like that. These are all a V like this. And then on this side it goes here and here. Here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here. Right? Did I do that right? I think so. I think so. Boy, this is complicated. 
but I think I got it right, she says skeptically. Something doesn't look right down here. Oh, well, that's the same. And then these would go this way. I'm just, I'm just thinking, where, where would the next step go? Same thing this way. This way would go, the arrows would go the other direction. So it would go would be heading this way. Like that. Okay. I think, I think that's right. So let me color on the, her sample and follow. I'm going to need Four colors. Let's do the yeah, the orange, the blue. Let's do a purple and a green. Just so we can really see what's going on here. So the blue, let's do it down here in the finished one. The blue is going to go here and here and just all the way across, right? And the orange is going to go here and here and here all the way across. And the green is going to come downward and then it goes over like that. Like that. Does that seem right? And then the purple comes upward. Like that. Is that right? That seems right. Let's see if that's how I ended up. This is how I'm going to check to see if I drew it properly. Then later I can come back. I can bold the lines. I can, I can do it better. I can do it on a regular drawing page rather than this piece of printer paper. That one and this one. Okay, and then the blue goes. 
goes this way. And it would keep going over here like so. Okay, that looks correct. And then let's do the green one. I want a different color green because I don't like that green. It's too dark. Let's go a little bit lighter. Let's go with this one. Okay, so this would come down and over like that. It's going to come down here like so. Like that and like this. And then it's going this way. And then it's coming out from under there. And it's coming down here and it's going that way. Does that seem right? I think so. Okay, that comes down and out of there. And then it comes this way. And then it comes out of there. New, 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 new. Abort, abort, abort. I didn't color that in the right spot. It goes under there. And then it comes down here. And then it comes out there. I'm not sure I'm 100% accurate with this. Okay, I'm going to make every other one a different color green. Still green, but a darker green. Maybe. May have to do that with the purple too. Just so I can keep track of what the heck is going on. Okay, so and I'm going to make this an actual lighter green by adding some yellow to it. Because I really want to be able to tell them apart. Oop, not that one. Okay, and now I want a purple, but I'm going to do two different colors of purple, a light purple and a dark purple. Okay, 
All right, let's do the light purple. Light purple is coming in here. And it's going around here. And then it's coming up here. And then it goes this way. And then it comes out over here. And then the next one will be dark. So the dark purple comes out here. And it goes in here. And then it goes this way. And then it goes this way. And then a lighter purple. I think we did it. Oh my goodness. Henny, this is a hard one. This is a very challenging advanced pattern. I would not recommend this if you are a beginner. However, you know what? If you are up for a challenge, go for it. I think I've got it. All these make sense. They're all going in a direction that makes sense. I think if I was to do this as a regular drawing, oh, this one needs to be green. Why? It needs to be a light green. And this is going to be the light purple. This is quite the challenge. And how she did it in a round, uh, hats off to you. I, I, I bow to your expertise because wow, oh wow. Wow. Absolutely wow. Look at that. Can you guys believe that that is what happens with that pattern? That is stunning, amazing. I'm gonna go through with my a big, bigger nibbed pen and I'm gonna Just going to do it on this side because I want to see it. Just like that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I'm running out of battery, so I'm going to have to sign it. I'm just going to sign it here and mirrored. Mirrored arrows. That one was really, really tough. Um, yeah, really tough. You guys can do it, but I would absolutely suggest practicing first because this one is this one is a doozy, and um, I had fun. I'm enjoying myself. I'm running out of battery and I'm running out of time on my camera, so uh, I will see you guys later. However. This is just a challenge. Whoa. I may have to try this again as a regular pattern, but I wanted to give you guys something to show you that, you know, they're not all super easy. Most of them are easy. Most of them are, are you just go through life just hunky-dory. Some of them 
are just a bear. And this is one of those. So anyways, you guys go have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Uh, we'll start the new month um, next week. I know today is the first drawing of the new month, but we'll start the, the whole thing fresh uh, with the prompts for uh, this month next week. And I'll see you later. Bye.